my channel my name is April I am new here on YouTube and new to motherhood I am sharing videos and tips with you about breastfeeding natural birth motherhood and just my uh, overall journey with my baby Riley she is nine months so we are she is eight months and we are eight months into our breastfeeding journey and so today I wanted to share with you all of my favorites for improving um overall milk production First up is just a simple prenatal vitamin. You need to be taking your prenatal vitamins for the entire time that you're breastfeeding. Um, I look for prenatal that's got DHA um, in addition to the folic acid to supplement baby's brain development. I also like these postnatal vitamins. These are by Nature Made. I do tend to lean towards my gummies because they are quick and easy. And these are kind of large. I'm gonna show you the pill on camera and hopefully I can get uh, get the camera to focus on the pill. But they're quite large and so not the easiest to swallow, but they do have quite a bit. These have 200 milligrams of DHA and quite a bit, uh, quite a bit more folic acid than the gummies. The next thing I wanna recommend is a breastfeeding supplement, sort of a cover-all, um, specifically by Pink Stork brand. This is the Pink Stork Lactation Supplement. It is not my favorite, but I wanted to show it to you because they were sold out of my favorite favorite when um, I set out to buy things to make this video. Normally, I get the Pink Stork Supplement called True Milk. Um, the only difference between the lactation and the true milk is that true milk is um, organic and these are not. So True Milk retails for about $24 and this one retails for $18. But I reached out to Pink Stork Brand and they actually wrote me back about these supplements and they have rebranded entirely. And I'm gonna to try to insert a picture for you of the new pills. Um, they've combined and now they're called Total Lactation and it's one supplement, completely organic, um, that has a, uh, a new formula that I'll try to um, insert in the description box. They did send it to me. Um, this has fenugreek, alfalfa, blessed thistle, milk thistle, and fennel. All of those same ingredients are the active ingredients in Total Lactation. It's just a different format. Um, so I really encourage you to try these. You take two of them a day. I try to take them in the morning, but you will see see um, a significant boost in your milk supply, uh, I would say within 48 hours of starting these. The next one was one I had to do a little bit of research about. I hadn't necessarily heard about it in any of my mom groups, and that is Goat's Roux. This is by Mommy Knows Best, and it is an herbal remedy for milk production support. Um, you take one capsule four times a day, or at least that is the recommended dose. I personally take one capsule twice a day because go through, while it does increase, um, increase your supply, it has been known to increase breast tissue, and I am quite busty, so that's not something I'm looking for. So I try to limit how much of this one I take. Um, in addition to supplements that increase my milk supply, I am a big fan of sunflower Lecithin. And all of these supplements are from Amazon, but I got this on Amazon and it says on the front, Nervous System Support. Um, but I purchased it because it is really great for clogged milk ducts. If you are pumping, if you're regularly taking supplements, or we've got a, uh, you know, a generous milk supply, it is quite possible that you end up with, um, you know, swollen hard breasts, lumpy breasts, these really help um, get lumps out, especially those stubborn ones that you can't seem to pump away or your baby um, nurses away. So I take these, I do take two, uh, two once a day in the morning. Um, and these really have kept sort of those clogged ducts and things like that away. The next couple things I wanna show you are about self care. Self-care specifically when you are breastfeeding and sometimes your nipples are cracked, they're sore, they're bloody. Um, and those are the times where, at least for me personally, I felt like giving up. I felt like, oh, I'm not going to make it. This is tougher, tougher than me, you know? And so first thing is just a really simple one. Um, I use lanolin. This is a little packet. I've got a bunch of these. They are from Medela. Hopefully you can see that there. They are the Tender Care 
lanolin soothing relief for sore nipples safe for mom and babies all natural ingredients i'm just reading you <laughs> reading you the front um but i really like these and these are super soothing you can rub these on you can nurse immediately thereafter because they are baby safe um and they do come you get a good number of these in the pack i actually don't have the box anymore but i like that they're individually wrapped as opposed to like a tube of lanolin so that you just have to um you know just open up what you need so you, these last a really really long time um the next thing i want to show you is my um medela tender care hydro gel patches and so this is uh, this is advanced nipple therapy on the front and so i'm going to show you when i opened it up because i wanted to show it to you it's like a jelly um it's a jelly patch that sticks to the skin looks like this when you peel off the little plastic back and you stick it right on your nipple and it adheres directly to it and it's going to um provide a really nice cooling sensation little tip throw these in the fridge 30 minutes for use for an advanced cooling sensation the next thing up is kind of a twofer um are the medela quick clean wipes and quick clean spray it is cleaning spray uh, for your breast pump and pump accessories i carry this stuff in my pumping bag every single day during the work week it's wonderful for sterilizing your pump parts on the go you do have to rinse all of the milk out um, before you spray this on but your stuff is sterile in 10 minutes you just spray it on let it stand for 60 seconds air dry it it takes about like i said 10 minutes to dry and you're good to go same deal with the wipes i like the spray for my pumps i like the wipes for toys teasers pacifiers um and hard surfaces when you're out in public it is alcohol free bleach free baby um sanitizer next up lansino um milk storage bags doesn't really matter what brand you have. I use the Lansnow brand. I've used Milky's brand. I've used Medela brand. I find that the Lansnow brand is the most budget friendly. I got a hundred of these for like seven dollars. Um, so I thought that was a really, really good price. Um, they each each bag holds about six ounces, and so that is um, kind of how I how I do it. I put six ounces per bag, lay it flat in the freezer, and then they stack up really nice on the door. The next thing I want to recommend you get is a set of replacement pump parts. I ordered these. These are Medela compatible from Amazon for $12.99. It also came with a replacement set of tubing and a set of the white little um, suction flats. I'm not sure the correct name. No, it's not identical to the Medela brand. In, uh, the Medela one, this thing is two pieces. The brush shield comes off, but they work fairly well and for the price, I think it's worth it because you're supposed to be rotating and updating your breast pump uh, parts, like replacing the parts every three to six months. So I feel like having a backup here can be a bad thing. The next thing I want to tell you about is lactation tea. I am partial to the teas from Pink Stork Company, but as I've been using them over the last eight months, I find them to be very expensive. And while it says on the bag that you can make multiple cups of tea with a single bag, I find that the second cup of tea is not very strong. I got these Earth Mama organic tea bags when my local grocery store was sold out of the Pink Stork brand, and I have converted. These, you get 16 bags for only $5.99, which is a really good price. With the other brand, I think they were $11.99 for 15 bags, so not nearly as much. And these bags are strong, strong. You can brew, what I like to do is brew two 12 ounce cups from one bag. So I'll brew 12 ounces, I'll sip on that all morning, and then I'll brew another 12 ounces with the same tea bag for the afternoon. Um, and that gets me to my four cups recommended, or four six ounce servings of recommended tea a day. But I really, really like this tea. I will say if you're drinking the tea and you're doing 24 ounces of tea in a day, skip the lactation, whether that's the total lactation or the true milk or whatever, skip the lactation um, supplements for the day. You don't wanna cause an oversupply. Hey mamas and welcome back. Future April here. I was editing my video regarding um, my breast uh, breastfeeding favorites and I forgot my favorite favorite thing and I keep it in the car so we are here in my car and I wanted to show you 
my electricity adapter. It goes right in the, the charger port and it allows me to plug in the pump in the car. It also has two USB ports so I can charge my phone and pump at the same time. From my office to the court is a 45 minute drive. And it, this thing has allowed me to squeeze in extra pump sessions in transit. Last weekend we went to St. Louis and it was a lifesaver. I was able to pump in the front seat and pass milk to my mom who was sitting with Riley, um, you know, sitting with Riley's car seat in the back. So I wanted to share this with you and kind of give you, this is a tip. My girlfriend who exclusively pumped was like, if you're not pumping in the car, you ain't living. So ladies, this is my kind of last holy grail item, but I have been using this on the regular to keep uh, pumping and try to keep that two to three hour pumping schedule. All right, back to the video. Last but certainly not least, my favorite, I probably like them just a little bit too much, and that's lactation cookies. These are by the Milk Maid brand. Um, I'm a big fan of these cookies. Uh, I feel like if you eat a bag in the morning, you're gonna have significantly more ounces. And when I say significantly, I'm talking one to two ounces more of milk production that afternoon. Um, so you wanna make sure that you hydrate. Um, hydrating is obviously going to help you more water in, more fluid out, right? But take eating a bag of these cookies and drinking a bunch of water, you're gonna have a really, really generous output in the afternoon. These are a little bit expensive. Each of these little individual bags retails for $2.50 and a pack of 10 of them um, is $21.99 at Walmart. I do have a recipe uh, for very affordable lactation cookies and it is linked in the description box below. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's my time today. Um, I gotta go run, go and pick up Riley. I hope this was informational to you. If you have any products that you have been loving, I've still got four months left in this journey. I would really love to hear from you. Thanks and have a great day.